Yes, mate. Cheeky, five mark, Waitrose question. A quadratic has roots differing by k. k is bigger than zero. Determine in terms of k, the discriminant of the quadratic. Now, it doesn't really matter, you know, the coefficient of x squared in this case, because, you know, in terms of roots, you can have any kind of quadratic where you multiply the y values by uh, a constant, you can still have the same root. So I'm just going to assume the coefficient of x squared here is 1. Now, let's just say one of the roots is, well, if we're doing it generally, let's just say, I don't know, in further maths, we like to use alpha. And let's let the second root be alpha minus k. So they're differing by k units. So my quadratic would look like this. In factorized form, one of the brackets would be this. And the other would be alpha, uh, sorry, x minus, minus all of this, which I'm just going to expand. So minus alpha plus k is 0. Let's just expand the bracket. So we have x squared. Uh, don't want to just do it individually. I guess you can. So we have minus alpha x plus kx minus alpha x uh, plus plus alpha squared minus alpha k is 0. So they just want the discriminant, right? So this is my quadratic. Discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so b squared, what's my b terms? Well, this and this make up minus 2 alpha x, right? So you have kx minus 2 alpha x. So the uh, b value is k minus 2 alpha. k minus 2 alpha squared minus 4. a is 1. And my c term is alpha squared minus alpha k. Okay. Expanding this, I get k squared. Multiply these together would be minus 2 alpha k. Duplivate it for alpha k plus 4 uh, alpha squared. Okay, you square that. Expanding this in, I get minus 4 alpha squared plus 4, 4 alpha k. Uh, oh, minus 4 alpha k. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. K squared, my. 